Hi folks, Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange, and today we're checking out my signature slides. Pretty cool, right? We've got a glass one and we've got a brass one. You're gonna see them later on in the video. Uh, my hair's changed a little bit. I look a bit different. I should probably get a haircut again, do you think? Yeah, I Yeah. So let's go over how I actually ended up getting a signature slide. So here we have the Ariel posing signature slide, okay? Now, what I did, I had a crazy idea at home uh, to use one of his slides, he's a great player by the way, incredible, you should check him out. I had the idea to chop off the top, so I did. I got one of the guys here at See Me to do it because I had an idea to play a little bit of slide on this hand and have this on my little finger and do like some slide licks on this one at the same time. Silly idea, crazy. Needless to say, it didn't actually happen. However, I really enjoyed playing with this, okay? I could fret a couple of notes here and there uh, so it felt comfortable. So I actually did a I did an arrangement of a Stevie Wonder song with it and Danny Songhurst, that rock slide, he got in touch with me. Um, he was asking, is that actually one of my slides? And I was kind of nervous. I thought he was gonna be quite annoyed with me and Ariel as well. I apologize to both of them, but they were both cool with it. Um, and he said, well, do you wanna make a signature slide? And I said, of course. So this, my uh, kind of homemade one, turned into, let's have a look, let's get both on. This, now I'm gonna hold it up here just so you can see, a little bit of comparison, okay? So, big difference is we've got a double bevel. We've got a bevel at the top. Now, I would primarily use this on my little thing, so I can actually fret a couple of knots. Now, obviously, you might be able to only play the slide on maybe three strings. However, if you're not comfortable with that, switch it around, now you can do more, okay? You could even do it kind of half and half, which I tend to do a lot. If I wanna play slide with, you know, maybe more than two or three strings, I kind of, maybe curl my finger around a little bit or arch it so I can play a few different ones. But um, it's really comfortable, really proud of it. So the glass one, again, I would primarily use it on my little finger, that's just down to me. Slight little bevel at the bottom. Um, I'm not gonna be fretting with this one, but love the color of it. It's got my initials on it, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, and it sounds good. things that I like about these, uh, in particular the glass one is the sustain, okay, obviously the, the thickness of the wall inside it and whatnot. Um, quite a good sound, uh, really proud of that. But also, the same with the brass ones. Now, I've always been a bit skeptical of brass ones when I was younger because the sound kind of died away fairly quickly, there was no real sustain. However, these sound great. A um, lot more sustain than I ever would have thought. Um, particularly good on kind of dobros or national guitars and whatnot. Me personally, I'd never use these on an electric guitar. Do what you want though, there's, there's no rules. Same with this, I would primarily use this for an electric, but these sound great on acoustic as well. Um, but I would love to hear what you think about them, so I would urge you to come and check them out. Mm -hmm. 